Drunk driving arrests are down sharply after decades of aggressive enforcement, while drugged, drugged driving arrests are actually climbing. Georgia now has more than 250 officers with special drug recognition expert training, but 11 Alive Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe discovered some drivers are getting arrested for driving stoned, even when their drug test came back clean. You haven't had anything to drink tonight? Not tonight, no. Not tonight, okay. One of the things that we do is we ask people to both do this thing, okay? Caitlin Ebner crossed the line and got pulled over on her way home from work. Well, real hard. I'm going to ask you to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You can stop. No, she wasn't drinking. All tests for alcohol came up empty. When's the last time you smoked marijuana? Oh, I don't do that. You, I can give you a drug test right now. I've, you you, you I don't smoke marijuana? I do not, okay. no. All right, well, you're showing me indicators that you have been smoking marijuana, okay? I didn't realize that you could get arrested for something that you didn't do until it happened to me. Right, watch your wrist for me. I don't uh, want to pinch you. you for marijuana? No, ma'am, not possession unless I find it in your car. I believe that you're impaired by the marijuana that you've smoked. Before you felt those handcuffs closing over your wrist, did you understand just how serious this was? I didn't understand. I, um, as soon as I took that breathalyzer, I thought I was going home. It's time you're being taken into custody, okay, for DUI drugs. The waitress spent the night in jail and had her alcohol server's permit revoked because of the DUI arrest. After four months, prosecutors dismissed all charges because her blood test came back completely clean. You had to spend months and thousands of dollars proving your innocence. I did. When's the last time you smoked weed? I don't smoke You don't smoke weed? No, not at all. The same thing happened to this college student two weeks earlier on Good Friday. Well, I believe you have, okay? I need to borrow your arm real quick, okay? I believe that's why, I believe that's why you were failing to maintain your lane and driving halfway wait, wait, on, on the ramp when I was behind no, you. Hold on one second, hold on a second. Give me just one second, one second. give me just one You're second. arresting me. That's correct. I didn't understand, I'm like, why are you arresting me? Like, what did I do? He said DUI of a substance, I'm like, what? Are you arresting me because you think I smoke marijuana? I believe you're me... impaired by cannabis, yes ma'am. Sir, sir, I don't smoke weed. Is there a way you can test me right now? Princess Umbamara was also jailed and fought the DUI drug charges for half of 2016. So the blood test comes back, they toss the case. I remember my lawyer trying to talk about a deal. I was like, what? I'm not taking a deal. I didn't do anything. I want like my life back. Can you reverse time? Can you stick your tongue out real big? Months later, it happened a third time to this Auburn student. Giving me indicators that you have consumed marijuana, so you're being placed under arrest for DUI, okay? The prosecutor filed this dismissal of the student's DUI drug charge five months later. Defendant performed well on field sobriety evaluations, and blood and urine were negative. Three DUI drug arrests, three tox screens negative for marijuana, one police officer. Cobb County's T.T. Carroll. Documents show Carroll is one of the highest rated and best trained officers on Cobb County's legendary DUI. DUI task force. Well, you're showing me numerous indicators. He's a certified drug recognition expert. Well, I don't believe you're telling me the truth, okay? I don't believe because I'm seeing some involuntary indicators that you've consumed marijuana. One of 250 Georgia officers who've gone through this intensive month-long training. A drug recognition evaluation involves a dozen observations that allow officers not only to pronounce a driver is on drugs, but to identify which of seven types of drugs are in their system. System. Marijuana. How do you look at somebody and say marijuana? There are involuntary responses of the body that we can observe that would suggest impairment of marijuana. He did these techniques that he was taught, and he determined you were on something you weren't on. Yeah, unfortunate for me. Because he's ingesting marijuana. That's what my training suggests. Officer Carroll relies on his drug recognition expert training, but in these three dismissed cases, he didn't do the full DRE evaluation after the arrest. The standard protocol requires all 12 steps to be complete, yet any police officer can make a DUI drug arrest on fewer observations. If I establish probable cause, you know, and I believe that based on my training, that's why I put the handcuffs on you. Several, several, several indicators. Okay, so when I do a drug test, I'll be free to go, correct? You're going to jail, ma'am, okay? I don't have a magical drug test that I can give you right now. But he just did the magic drug test that resulted in your arrest. They're ruining 
innocent people's lives. Caitlin Ebner filed an internal affairs complaint against Officer Carroll. Cobb County investigators exonerated the officer and doubted Caitlin's innocence, insisting the marijuana could have already metabolized out of the blood. They said, yeah, we see this happen all the time. The test results come back wrong. So the test results were wrong? Yeah, that's what they said, that the test results were wrong. And also, if I had a urine test, that it would have came back positive for drugs. But Caitlin got her own urine test the same week as her arrest, the urine test was also negative for marijuana or other drugs. This training is so powerful that they believe they can detect drugs that a blood test will not detect. It's extremely surprising. That's my life that they're playing with. Cobb County Police Department. Last week, Cobb County's DUI task force was awarded a trophy by Mothers Against Drunk Driving. 1,696 DUI arrests. And Officer Carroll was given a silver medal for 90 DUI arrests in 2016. He put dozens of actual convicted drunk drivers behind bars last year. But if he got three people who were innocent behind bars having to defend themselves, how does that balance out for you? It's something I have to carry for the rest of my life. Now, commanders wouldn't let Officer Carroll talk with us, but the department stands behind this, these arrests. And also the department says that the GBI crime lab often returns results as negative even when there is a trace amount of marijuana in the blood. Cobb County police also say that any officer trained with this special drug recognition expert training is better and more reliable than a scientific blood or urine test. And that we found surprising. It is surprising. All of it astounding. My jaw is open, Brendan. I think it is worth repeating here that officers don't get it wrong all the time, right? You do no, say they that usually, at the end. No, vast majority of the time they get it right and they're getting impaired people off the streets. We're talking about people who could kill someone in your family or you and I on the road. I mean, I've done dozens of ride-alongs over my career with these yeah. amazing officers who are truly heroes. But this drug recognition thing is a problem only because there's no immediate scientific test like you have for alcohol. They can't immediately take you to the department, test your blood and urine, and let you go. It takes weeks or months, and that's why they're relying on this training. 250 officers got this special training. Where besides Cobb County are these officers? All over the state of Georgia. Now, just because an officer pulls you over who doesn't have drug recognition expert training, they can call a drug recognition expert in their department. And that happens often. In fact, a number of these arrests, Officer Carroll wasn't even the one who stopped them originally. But then they use this training. The question is, is there a problem with the training or is there a problem with the way it's being uh, implemented in the field and improvised? Or is there, as Cobb County insists, something wrong with the way the crime lab is testing it? The highest number of these officers? Uh, the, definitely the Georgia State Patrol. Yeah. All right. Brendan, Brendan Keefe, thank you very yeah. much. Thank